What's going on, guys? Here to urge you again to subscribe. You know, the show airs twice a week, to be honest, Mondays and Fridays, 22 hours Central African time. And the podcast is available 20 hours Central African time on Spotify. We're so excited to be here every Monday and Friday. And please do subscribe. See you on the other side. Here are individuals, Madam Speaker. After slaughtering this good Tira Mulaya in cold blood, the same night, the following day, they are dancing in a disco at East Park with girls, with a lot of money. Members of the public are now asking, is this the first time that these individuals have killed? The answer is for all of you to speculate. doing sir i'm good man how are you doing blessed young man blessed young man Proud. ready for the show i was born ready ah today we are in fast fast we are not even no greeting no what <laughs> how are you guys good to see you i'm here with mr chofaya oh yeah uh, uh, no, 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 no. you have, you have seen Chofaya. the name <laughs> chofaya oh we need to edit that name <laughs> we need to edit oh people are calling you chofaya now yeah baba show yeah mm. kairi you know people think uh, ah, no this guy he knows how to speak he obviously that's the correct pronunciation Chofa, chofaya <laughs> we've been oh. saying it wrong the whole time <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, no, 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 no. you don't have to put it that way oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <good>. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah shout out to you say shout out okay to uh i hope i said the name right in Sandula Munsele, yeah, uh, he commented on the last video on YouTube, and we had a fruitful conversation. Oh, okay. I, th- yeah. I think I saw, I saw, I saw. He talked about, I don't remember, but yeah, he didn't agree with me when I said uh, Edgar Lungu and the PF are, are the that wrong they have people. no right to say. Oh, yeah, yeah but yeah, that's what I said. I said they're not the the best. Ah, you said they have no right. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. <laughs> yeah. So, but it was a fruitful conversation. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it. Shout out to Mr. Nsandula. Nsandula Munsele. Mr. Nsandula Munsele. Mm. Nice name, by the way. Yeah, nice name, nice name. Hope you're coffeeed up and enjoying the show so far. Yeah, and guys, please, uh, subscribe, press that notification bell, na like the video, na ka comment, chabi. If there's anything that you want to ask, there's anything that you want to say, we want to engage me. Feel mm. mwira mfwensoni. Feel free. Kama ufato arande if shirole de mo matu eba. Ah, you tell us. Yeah, but if you are rude, we we'll tell you to do it on your podcast. <laughs> 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 yeah, so we have a number of things we're discussing on the show today. Um, police nab five suspects in Guntila Mulea murder case. Um, corruption in the UPND government being laid bare. Part three. <laughs> we have a part three <laughs> and then the drug enforcement commission seizes Esther Lungu's property and embattled America too or is it America falls ill as his properties are forfeited to the state I like how this is put it's like he fell ill because his properties were <laughs> <laughs> the properties being forfeited to the state gave him diarrhea <laughs> <laughs> there's a rush <laughs> rush <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, it's been long. I heard someone say they have rush. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> it's actually yeah. been a long time. Huh? Mm. Yeah, mm. it's interesting that we are laughing at these things, you know. We're not supposed to be laughing. But this is a lesson. Yeah. Mm. Don't think that when you are there, you are there. <laughs> <laughs> I like what you said last time, that his office at... Um, City uh, market. City Market was like a minister's office. Mm, it was a and I was talking to someone else who, who watched the show this past week. Mm. They were actually telling me the same thing. Like, ah, oh, mm. that gentleman. Ah, that one was a powerful. I think I'm going to end up with dollars here in my pocket. I'm going to end up with a few of City Market. I'm going to end up with a few of them. That's a good show. It's America. Yeah, so the police have finally arrested uh, one Francis Chipioka who is... Um, the director of finance, I believe, uh, IBA, this is in relation to Mr. Guntila Mulea's murder. Remember, four suspects were arrested. We gave you that update last week. Uh, three police officers and a civilian. And there was one that was on the run. He was found under the bed, apparently, uh, which is a bit funny. Uh, yeah, a chip. But he has finally been arrested, still a suspect, uh, innocent until proven guilty. Do we follow that here? Do we follow that here? Innocent until proven guilty, or is that here in Zambia? Yeah, is that a global it's the other way around? Guilty, you prove yourself innocent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I forgot to mention earlier, everything we say on the show is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the police spokesperson Ray Hamonga did give us an update on the said arrest. Take a look. The Zambia Police Service wishes to inform members of the public that Mr. Francis Tipioka. An employee of the IBA has been apprehended and is in our custody. We will not divulge any further details for fear of jeopardizing our ongoing investigations, but suffice to state that he's in our uh, custody and uh, further details will be unveiled as investigations progresses. Yeah, so further details will be provided as the case uh, progresses, but of course we do know that... Uh... Yeah, they have to prove their innocence <laughs> since we are in Zambia. And this is good news. This is good news. The police are working. People have been arrested. At least some form of closure is taking place with the family, I would like to believe. Uh, we don't have any other suspect on the run, do we? No, I don't think so. The police have not mentioned that. Uh, yeah. We can't rule that away completely, of course. Yeah, they have told us that they don't want to give further details lest they jeopardize an ongoing investigation. Yeah, to me, I think there's a, also a thin line between that and just uh, not wanting to give out information. Yeah, yeah. Do you how could information jeopardize an investigation? Oh, there's a lot of ways. There are many ways. Yeah, yeah. so they can mention a suspect's name, maybe who they are looking for, and then that suspect is alert, is alerted. Yeah, yeah. Then they 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 go in hiding. How about when they put wanted? Like the way this guy was mm -hmm. wanted, pictures are in the media. And this is just an Isn't example, that the same? The so they could talk mm. about a place which. Uh, ah, if the people okay, know so it, they could be okay. I understand. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. So they could mention a place, and then there are people who will be elated when they hear that. They yeah. Not say, also, the police knows this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in the process of proving his innocence, Mr. Francis Chipioka surprisingly, as they take me to court or release me. <laughs> yeah. Is my Tanapan writ of habeas corpus? Yes. Uh, yeah, someone should not be in police custody for more than 48 hours without. Be presented before a court. Yeah, within 48 hours. Mm. But, yeah, basically. So. Habeas corpus, that was like civics grade yeah. eight, <laughs> nine, somewhere there. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Oh, you are showing some good memory there. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Did you take civic education? Yeah, I did. You did, eh? Yeah. Do you still remember things like Juice Soli, Juice Sanguinis? Nah. Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking Latin about, though? Juice Soli, Juice Soli, Juice Sanguinis are the ways that someone can become a citizen in, in, the, in the country. No. Though that is not relevant to the subject okay. right now. That sounds like uh, Latin or something. I think so. I think we borrow a lot of Latin words. Yeah, know? I don't know if it's... Even the same... Uh, heb you said Hebis? Hebis Corpus. Hebis mm. Corpus. Mm. Yeah, it sounds Latin as well, eh? Okay. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. probably. Uh, he was welcome, but so, he was welcome, Mr. Chan. Juice Soli uh -huh. and Juice Sanguinis. Sanguinis. So, yeah. Sanguinis, I'm a family because. I'm yeah, a bit uh, African, but. <laughs> <laughs> but on the ZNS motor, I think they had that. Sanguinis? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they still use that motor. I didn't even know that 
the our defense forces have mottos. Oh, okay. What does Zaf, Zaf say? Defend and support. Okay, and army? Army, I don't know. Ah, mm. interesting. I and didn't know that. The situation, Shan Sanguinis Pro Patra. Oh, so it was uh, not English. It was not an English. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. But in translation, in English translation, is like, uh, I think, blood and sweat for country or something like that. Okay. Leave it in the comments if you know what the ZNS yeah, please. Um, slogan or motto is and tell us what it means as well if you know. Don't just Google it. Tell us if you're original. Because <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. Too. Yeah, we, we could do that and put it up for you. Um, Mr. Mwimbo had, um, Jack Mwimbo had, Mr. Jack Mwimbo had um, some remarks to make concerning the police officers that were involved, that are suspects in the Guntila Mulea case. Uh, he wasn't happy with what they did after killing the said gentleman. The fact that they went on to go to the club, a mm. uh, certain nightclub at East Park, as he says. Don't call it a nightclub, he said disco. <laughs> disco. <laughs> That's when you know how old someone is. I know, he hasn't been out in a while. You know, I want He used to paint the town red. Yeah, by the way, this guy was being called JJ as well, huh? Oh, Jack Wimbo. Yeah, coming up in his career. Oh, yeah. Jack. Yeah. Ah, okay. Let's call him JJ. What is JJ's actual name? Uh, the JJ? JJ Banda. I don't know. I know Emmanuel I know JJ Emmanuel. Banda, but the JJ is yeah, still unclear. Leave that as well in the comments if you... Yeah. Hmm? Be like Sandula. I mean, say something. Exactly. Or Bruce, Mr. Yeah, Bruce Charles. Bruce. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to Mr. Bruce Charles. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, the said statement by Mr. Mwimbo. The majority of police officers in this country, men and women, are upright, professional in their conduct, and hardworking. But we have rogue police officers. Like these officers we are talking about, Madam Speaker, they are worse than junkies. These these, oh, the honorable members, please, let's not... These uh, police officers, without delving into what they have done, they have tarnished the image of the institution. Here are individuals, Madam Speaker. After slaughtering this Gudira Muleya in cold blood, the same night, the following day, they are dancing in a disco at East Park with the girls with a lot of money. Members of the public are now asking, is this the first time that these individuals have killed? The answer is for all of you to speculate. These are the ones who are giving a bad name to the Zambia Police Service. And as I indicated, we will do everything possible with your support to rule, root out the rogue policemen. And there are many. There are many. And the number of these policemen are working in your constituencies. And I tend to think that you are aware of some of the reports that are coming from the public. I would like you to come out together with the public to identify these policemen who are not policemen. But a policeman is supposed to provide security to the residents. But these are not policemen. They are not policemen. They are criminals, Madam Speaker. We can't allow policemen who are supposed to be guarding and providing security to our residents to do what they have done. The killing of Guntila Muleya is unusual in this country. As a policeman, you handcuff somebody take them in the bush and, you know, shoot them in cold blood and make cover-ups. That is very unusual. We used to hear of such criminal activities in other countries, not here. It is our responsibility to ensure that this is capped. Let's not bring in partisan issues here. Let's work together for the sake of the country.
Yeah, they were dancing at a disco with many girls and many money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're laughing about it right now uh, because this is after the facts. And uh, Oh, he was upset. <laughs> exactly. Ah, he was upset. Yeah. Uh, to me, actually, these are very chilling uh, details, yeah. chilling revelations. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to say this, so let me say it. Uh, so we already know, we've been given some names, of course. Yeah. Of the suspects, yeah, because we've been talking three policemen and one civilian, and all that, so we've been given some names, mm -hmm. uh, some pictures, even some, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. So, apparently, there are two brothers there, oh, oh, so there are two brothers, yes, two brothers and a brother to a lawyer, yeah, exactly. There's mm -hmm. a brother to a lawyer, actually, we heard that that brother to a lawyer belongs to Scorpion, Scorpion Shashi. squad of the C5, uh, Central Police, uh, um, yeah, they're not really the C5, but they operate like the C5. Oh, they are not really the C5? No, they are not. Ah, okay, okay, but, okay. But uh, they operate like the C5, mm. and they are Central Police. Mm. Uh, they operate the same as the C5, I should mention. Mm. The only difference is that this Scorpion, they, are the, they call them anti-breaking or something. Ah, so these are the ones who okay, deal with okay, motor okay. vehicle theft. Okay. Exactly. Oh, by the way, let's, we, we need to mention, sorry to interrupt you, yeah. but we need to mention that we love the police, we love the C5, we love our defense forces. We just think... Things should be done the right way. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't personally, I don't love the C5 <laughs> because yeah. of how they operate. <laughs> uh, I wish that we could have it better. Way to and... throw water on my fire, Mr. Chop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but don't get me wrong. Yeah, I yeah. want us to have a crack squad. Yeah. We have very dangerous criminals who need to go. Who? Yes. Yeah. If there's something and then we need people to go and kill yeah. uh, criminals who are putting lives of other people in danger, then so be it. Yeah. We need a crack squad like that one. But the way they operate, I don't like it. Now you are seeing, we are creating monsters. Mm. And uh, by the way, we are just saying this from what we have. We are mm. not saying these people are guilty. Uh, but if you have someone from a crack squad, that, because the Scorpion were actually responsible for those boys who were killed, uh, those people, those boys from Matera. Remember those? Mm, those no young mind. boys. Uh, Yet, are you talking about... Well, they okay. were found at a mall, then they pursued them in this vehicle. And then apparently they abandoned the vehicle somewhere and started running. Yeah. And they showed That's them. a recent. It's a recent one, yeah. It should be like three months ago. We, we didn't report it? No, that one we didn't talk about it Okay. Here. Yeah. Mm. But they are the ones who are responsible for that. So okay. they operate like the C5. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, for the details, some of the details that Jack Mimbo has that mentioned to say they, they handcuffed him, mm. took him to a bush. And shot him because he was found with in a bullet. cold blood. Cold blood, exactly. Mm. So they found him with a bullet wound on the back and also on the forehead. Mm. So you can imagine how this person was brutal. We can killed. we can almost I would like to imagine that they probably already killed him by mm -hmm. the time they were shooting him in the back. Just I don't know. Anyway, what was the purpose of shooting both front and back? I don't know. I don't or, know. Or was the bullet shot through the back of the head? I don't know. I don't know. That's uh, maybe we should leave that. Not speculate about it. Yeah. Well, maybe if we could we, speculate. We leave that my, to the, yeah, yeah. yeah we, thought, we can speculate. Yeah. You yeah. know what I thought? Mm. I thought the guy was shot in the back. Then he was not dead yet, and then the guy finished him off. Okay. Yeah. Mm. This is my. But does my that mean if he's shot in the back, mm -hmm. how could he be shot in the front? Did he fall? Maybe he was turning and. Uh, he can fall, and, and then maybe you can even turn him. You can ah, even tell. to just see if... Uh, yes, and finish mm, off. Mm. Yeah. Because now you can imagine... You, you would, you would, you know, such details mm. make you uh, uh, understand what the minister is saying. Mm -hmm. That the members of public are wondering, have these guys killed before? Yes. Yeah. Because as he said also, after that, the next day, they were in one of the discos at... Uh, very day. At, uh, yeah, at... The, the, ve the very night. You see? With a lot of money, yeah, and, many and dancing girls. with girls, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you see, as he said, we can speculate that this is not the first time that these people have done this. That's true, and also, uh, you know, go on. And also the pattern of it, because we are told that uh, someone contracted someone. Yes. So an employee of the IBA mm -hmm. contracted someone who they know that this one can find someone to to do this. So I don't know if the contract was to maim him. Because in the first place, I heard people saying that no, they wanted to break. They wanted his to legs. break his legs, incapacitate him. Yeah, then he he, he, not, he like uh, recognized one of the cops. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how true that is, mm. but for it to have ended in death, and those people the same night as you are saying, or the next day they go into a disco, it means that 
nichinchamene wana chitapogda Mm. Yeah. So you might find that we have a crack squad. No bora obure pita. You mamona. <laughs> we no win. Eh. Hey. Maybe they even uh, eat uh, food. Mm. I mean. Yeah, <laughs> they, they they probably or oh, he had to specify food. They, <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, they, they they probably ordered some wings and whatnot. I went to East Park that night. Uh, just to evangelize. Mm-hmm. I was purely there for evangelism purposes. Okay. You know, people uh, By are, the way, I enjoyed the Bible talks. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh did I make I did, I did. Mm. Bible talks every Friday. Yeah. Um, I was there just to evangelize. You know, there are a lot of people drinking here. We need to tell them about Jesus. Amen. Ah, ah. Amen. Lo and behold, yeah. it was closed. You mean the whole East Park? No, no. Yeah. There was a disco that was closed. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, I there saw a, that. There was well. a disco that was, I almost yeah. said the name. There was, a, <laughs> there was a disco that was closed. Anyway, I'm joking. I wasn't there, but. Uh, yeah. But it, of course, we saw that. Interesting enough, that yeah, closed. there was a disco that was closed. Yeah. The story I heard uh-huh. was that they closed it because. Um, the you know there's a hotel that's just mm-hmm. across. Mm-hmm. Mm, am I giving too many details? Uh, it's okay. Well, there's a hotel that's. <laughs> I know. Right? <laughs> there's a detail that's. Uh, sorry, there's a hotel that's opposite. Mm-hmm. Let's say disco, mm-hmm. and it's rumored. What I heard was that hotel in East Park, my man. Yes. Oh, I think you've I seen, seen the the new hotel. I think I've seen mm, that one. Yeah. It's just, just opposite the mm-hmm. say disco. <laughs> that's, that's why you said you're going to review all the details. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so uh, it is supposed that this disco plays music all the way to six in the morning. And they were disturbing the residents of the hotel. Mm. So that's why their list was canceled. That's what I heard. Okay. But now that I have thought about it mm. you know amazing minds one and two <laughs> yeah uh yeah maybe there was something else that caused the close of yeah i also saw a lot of other theories uh, surprisingly no one was mentioning the fact that uh, uh just the previous day before he saw that it was closed the minister said this in parliament yeah yeah so it could be that maybe they are investigating or something i don't know yeah but also this tells me that eh? When you go out in these places, you are mingling with all types of people. Yeah, people who are just from killing, yes. they are actually, like, it's crazy. And yeah. especially ladies, guys, be careful. Yes. I just said yeah. ladies, guys. Ladies, yeah. be careful. Yeah. I know you may be the most uh, likely victims of... No, it's on you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> ladies, be careful. I know you may be the most likely victims of being bought drinks for... <laughs> Or food, you never know. Some of that money is blood money. Honestly speaking, Mister Guntila Mulea's blood is crying from the ground, right? So be careful. Mm-hmm. There were some figures that were thrown around six hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember some figures were thrown around uh, last week. Did we mention the figures last week? We did not. Eh? No. So it's true that people are killing for such kind of money. Yes. Maybe a cool and a cool. In material, they'll kill you for a 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we shouldn't have mentioned that lest people go and look. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the other truth yeah. that we shouldn't even uh, dance around is that we've got people who are being hired to kill here in our country. Yeah, that's actually shocking. Yeah. And um, the most common com- comment I've heard is in Zambia. Yeah. Yeah, because mm. it's not a common thing. No, it's strange. Yeah, it's quite unusual. Yeah, yeah. we are peaceful, peaceful peoples. Mm. And also, it's, it's 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 unfortunate that we have the police being involved, being implicated in such. Yeah. When they are the ones who are meant to, who are supposed to protect. Where us. are we going to run? You see. Mm, that's yeah. crazy. So anyway, I like what Jack Mimbo has said, and which we have said before that uh, it's not all of them that are bad. We mm. are very professional ones. This is how come that we have leads in this case. Yeah, yeah. Because we have very good detectives who are doing their job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in other news, ACC is investigating uh, the defense, the army, in what is a very so the details that have been given to us. I'll. Let Mr. Chofi explain the chart here, Mm -hmm. which he has explained before, to be honest. The funny thing about the details we're being given is that the chart they gave us for for the FIC report, we put the link in our last three shows. We gave you guys the link to the FIC report if you haven't seen that. But they gave us a chart that involved a SAID company that was uh, awarded a contract shortly after incorporation and uh, yada, yada, yada. But the ACC tells us that they're investigating the army because... Uh, after money was paid to a supplier, uh, certain parties within the army were refunded. <laughs> <laughs> refunded. 
Why are they refunding individuals? I know. <laughs> the money is coming. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, take a look at the chat and you can explain yeah. to us what's going on here. So anyway, as as the Bartram is saying, we had already explained this chat before. Yeah. Yeah. So this company, DL, apparently a foreign company, yeah, was opened in February 2023. And when you look at the case of uh, the SEC uh, investigating the Zambia, the Zambia Army, mm. they are speaking of a company that was opened in February 2023. Yeah. Which company actually, the name is DL something, should be DLK or something. So actually oh. the people in the FIC report, that's if, if, if this is the matter that they are talking about, mm. they were giving us all the details. Yeah, because also let's... Uh, not neglect hints, to mention. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Let's not neglect to mention that uh, we highlighted how um, the former president, Mr. Edgar Chagolungu, his doctor now, right? Mm. Dr. Edgar Chagolungu, <laughs> uh, was asked about the FIC report during his time, mm. and he said uh, he free team, free team, free team. exactly. <laughs> but we later discovered that there is actually a version of that report. Mm that contains names and details mm -hmm. we are not given that version of the yeah. of, of the report and being given this detail now almost tells us that those names they hide mm -hmm. were finally being given <laughs> exactly. in a different way yeah. yeah yeah but also it suffice to mention what you're saying is uh that they, they they when they communicate with law enforcement agencies they give them all the details yeah uh, of the suspicious so do you suppose the army knew that this would come up in the fic Yes, that this would independently come up with the SEC. I'm sure they knew when they saw it in the FIC. When they, yeah. Probably even before it came out in the FIC, they, they knew. Yeah, because, you know, if your hands are soiled, yeah. there are I, a lot and of ways I wanted to, find to make out. a comment on that, but we'll, be, we'll show you a video of the president speaking on the issue of corruption because I would like to tie the two. I'll bring it up again. Okay, yeah. Okay. So just a moment. The, 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 the foreign company was opened oh, in, ah, in February. I forgot. Yep. <laughs> it was opened in February. They opened an account in April. The same thing that we are seeing on this chart. Uh, uh, then they were given a contract in June of mm. $21 uh, million. The same figure that the, the SEC is talking about. Yeah. The only little difference here is with the payment. The SEC, and notice the difference. The SEC said they paid $5.3 million. Yeah. In this FIC report, it says 5.6. That, that difference could be negligible in this context. Yeah. Yeah, of course, the difference is like 300 million, which is still a no, lot 300, of No, 300,000. Oh, yeah, 300,000. Yeah. Thank mm. you. 300,000, which is still a lot of money. Mm. Yeah, but in this context, it's a negligible it's, it's, difference. It's a negligible difference because, yeah. yeah, considering the whole amount, 21 million, mm -hmm. uh, 5 million. It could these be 300,000, maybe in Apitachim, my payments. Uh, miscellaneous expenses. <laughs> exactly. Maybe that's the money that was refunded to <laughs> individuals. <laughs> exactly. So, and then by the time that uh, uh, we, by the way, uh, this, this, uh, this contract was to supply equipment to Minasok. Okay. Yeah. Ah, and also, okay. we had a permanent secretary taking journalists, because after we saw this story, a lot of things came up, taking journalists apparently to Minasogo to go and show them to say this, what you saw in the FIC could be false because these things are here. Ah. Like trying to cover up. Are you serious? Yes. But this is before the, we heard from the SEC. Mm. The SEC has told us very clear that these things are not there. Yeah. They didn't supply anything. They supplied air. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, anyway, it's just very interesting that this is happening. I hope heads will roll. I don't have a lot of confidence. Yeah? Yeah. Well, heads are rolling in recent times. Well, not entirely rolling. Some are just <laughs> rolling to different ministries. <laughs> uh, one is now fishing and the other is presiding over land. So, uh Mchende has withdrawn his case. Uh, I remember Chofia last week was talking about how excited he is to actually see this case go to court. Mr. Kaba was um, sued mm -hmm. by Mr. Mchende as um, on grounds of defamation of character because of the report that was done a couple of uh, months ago, right? Yeah. We did report on this issue. And yep, finally it has been withdrawn, even though we're excited to see this thing actually go to court so it can blow up and we can know details like we are knowing in this uh, SEC revelation. Mm. 
And Mr. Kaba has said, I voluntarily signed the consent agreement with Mchende. So we don't know what's going on here. Um, I know you have a lot to say about this. <laughs> <laughs> You're not happy. <laughs> no, not a bit. Yeah. So it's, it's very disappointing. Uh, to me, especially for Dr. Kaba himself. Mm. And this is the reason why he came out to say, no, I wasn't coerced into doing this. I wasn't intimidated or blah, blah, blah. He said something. Uh, he said uh, a lot of things, actually. Mm. Uh, so when Mujende withdrew this mm. uh, and said they've signed the consent agreement, people started talking. Uh, for instance, there's something, someone very prominent, Dr. Shua Shua, mm. he made a post on, uh, on X, a very long one. Mm. Uh, detailing what he thinks about uh, this consent agreement that was entered. So let's just take it back. To me, I looked forward to this case because I trusted that Dr. Kaba is uh, uh, a respected person in society. He was a commissioner on the SEC board. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, he came out with revelations for crying exactly. out loud. Yes, yeah. a lecture at UNSA. And he came out with revelations <laughs> about the SEC where he was on the board. Yeah. So to me, I was like, this person not, knows what they are talking about. Which revelations, uh, Mr. Mwetwa says, should not come from a board member? Yeah, yeah because he's not supposed <laughs> to be a whistleblower, which doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, to me. yeah, yeah. Because the ACC, the, the the board that was dissolved now, uh, because this Musa Mwenya has been on rampage. He's been on mm. the radio. He's been on TV. Mm. I think oh, twice. you called in on the radio. Oh yeah, I did. I did. How did you find the talk with Mr. Mwenye? What were some of the highlights, very quickly, in a minute? Uh, so some of the highlights are that uh, first of all, the there was a problem at SEC in that the the SEC board was communicating with the higher authorities, maybe even the president. Mm. He, he neglected to mention that, mm. but I know that probably they they com they communicated with the president. Mm. They wrote to him to say that there are cases that are happening right now, mm. corruption issues. But so he hinted that moving. he implied that, yes, that yes. such a thing. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Mm. And he said that he communicated, say these cases are not moving because of the, the problems with the management. Yeah. And of course, the things that we've already said, he said about for one year, there was almost no communication between them and the management. Yeah. Exactly. So this also explains why it got to a point where the this uh, the, the former ACC uh, DG can even call a board member to threaten them. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, after Dr. Kaba released all those uh, details, to me, I was excited when he was sued by mm. Mujende. Mm. Because I thought to myself, oh, now we're going to hear this from actually court. Yeah. Because this person is not speaking from without. Yeah. So when yeah, and I remember you talking about how this is not like that. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry. Exactly. Uh, Chela to Kuta yes. where yeah. Yes. So now after the concert agreements, people like Sishua Shua spoke about some of the reasons that he thought was uh, for Kaba to agree. Because also Kaba had an option to say, no, I me, mean, I want to go to court. Yeah. This has already started, so I won't sign this. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we need. I mean, given his letter talking about how he is ready. Yeah, exactly. Yes. He wrote a letter, as you are saying. Yeah. So to me, I was looking forward to that because we need someone to lay this bare in the We need courts. to know exactly what's happening. I mean, even the opposition leaders are waiting. No, give us the names. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, Dr. Shua, I keep on talking about him, he mm. spoke something very interesting. He said it's either Dr. Kaba has been intimidated mm. or he's been talked out of it. He was sat down maybe even from people from the state house. Blah, blah, blah. He even spoke about uh, something to do with like tribal. Yeah. He, he, he said maybe they sat down and said, you guys, you come from the same region. Why mm. Yeah, which I don't want to believe, but it could be true. Mm. The other thing that he said is that it could be that's fine. They've managed to, bo to buy. There's, there's a Dr. statement uh, the president made in his speech that mm -hmm. we will show you shortly mm -hmm. about tribe. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll see whether we can connect the two okay. since we do one and two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, to me, I was also wondering what could be the reason Dr. Kava did this. So when people started talking, when uh, Dr. Shua said that, a lot of people started talking, they came out and said, no, I wasn't intimidated or anything. Mm. I did this because of the mutual respect that I have, mm. that we have for each other. Mm. Now, where was the mutual respect when you reviewed this in a newspaper I know. article? I know. And oh, speaking of... So to uh, me, there's indeed something mm. that we're, they're not telling us. Yeah. 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 Speaking of... Former ACC boss has sued the said Mr. Kaba uh, for libel 
Yeah. Demanding five hundred million dollars. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. We'll see whether he will voluntarily sign the <laughs> consent again. Yeah. To me, I don't even think it's going to be interesting because I mean, we're seeing where it's going. Oh Probably yeah. 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 And uh, by the, the way, he's also sued the newspaper Daily Revolution. Oh, he, oh, okay, yeah. okay. Because they are the ones who, who brought out the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the president's speech on corruption. Take a look. We know that we'll lose friends along the way. We know that we'll be politically abused. We know that the corrupt fight back. And they will even doss in ethnicity in the fight against corruption. Yesterday, I was having a meeting with the chiefs, House of Chiefs, five from each of our 10 provinces, 50 of them. The house was full. And I raised this issue where when you pursue the corrupt, they now bring either a political angle to issue or an ethnic angle. They find some, somewhere to hide. And I asked the chiefs, why do you entertain those meetings when we, your subjects, your tribesmen, come to you to say, I'm being victimized, this fight against corruption is targeting me? I said, ask them one question. My son, my daughter, is there something you took which is not yours? Tell me in confidence so I can help you. Most likely, that daughter, that son of yours will say, um, Let's meet tomorrow or next week. I'm in a hurry. These people are pursuing me. Because they took, probably they took something which is not theirs, which belongs to a child who is sitting on the floor in a classroom without a desk. And when we want to recover that money, to buy a desk for that kid, it becomes an ethnic issue. The corrupt fight back. It's up to us to understand. Otherwise, we'll start now messing up the whole fight against corruption. You can visit our website to get a t-shirt, The Corrupt Fight Back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Every day that I hear church speak, I'm losing confidence. Yeah? yeah. I actually really appreciated the speech. I thought it Which was... Part? The corrupt fight back mm -hmm. and the fact that they turn it into an ethnicity issue. Yeah, so uh, this is, <laughs> to me, actually, this could be dangerous. Yeah? Yeah, he could be saying this while targeting an ethnic group and saying, don't don't let these guys tell Are you this sure? is an ethnic fight. This is quite oh, corruption. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes. Yeah, okay, but, anyway. but, but don't you see some sense in what he said? I mean, the, that, the, the truth yes, is the corrupt okay. do fight yes, back. Yes, but this is the president. The ACC is under him. What is happening at the ACC? Why did he dissolve the board? Yeah. Why, because me, I still have that question. Why did they dissolve the board? Mm. Mm. Because, yeah, because it's a board member who made these revelations. And by the way, the ACC agreed that they are investigating Solicitor General Mushroom Chain. Yeah, if yeah. the president, oh yes, yes, if the president wants to fight corruption, why is Mushroom Chain still the solicitor general? When the ACC mm -hmm. have said we're investigating this person, why can't they put him on the break to say, oh, so chill. are there sides Mr. to this general. that we're not seeing? Sorry, are there sides to this that we're not seeing? I mean, are there situations where the president's hands are almost tied in terms of dealing with certain things mm -hmm. harshly? Like, does does maybe I sometimes suppose that the mm -hmm. president does not want to use his power, like, to use a strong fist to deal with certain things. But the things. ACC is under the office of the president. And yes, he's I, the one who put it I under understand, the office of the president. I understand that, except mm -hmm. what I mean is there are certain things that maybe you need to deal with slowly. Mm -hmm. Because you know the exact thing they talk about where one side of the story, when you hear the first side of the story, mm -hmm. you you believe you believe it until you hear the other side. Uh, I mean, allowing the natural process of investigations to go on. What do you guys think? Do you think the president is allowing... The natural process of why did show Tom Shamagamba uh, resign? You're asking very valid questions. Why did yeah. Stanley Kakubo resign? Yeah, you're asking very valid questions. Also, so, the report itself, uh -huh. the, the report itself, uh, Kaba's report does raise questions. Uh -huh. The consent judgment mm -hmm. does raise questions because mm -hmm. it suggests there was a real issue going on mm -hmm. so, that shouldn't get to court. 
Yes, and uh, the ACC board was frustrated. We've heard a lot from uh, Musa Mwenye. Yeah. Probably that's why he even appeared on a podcast of uh, this uh, Emmanuel, Emmanuel Mamba. Mamba. Yes. He appeared on the... So he's been on radio, he's been on that podcast, he's been on Prime TV. You watch other podcasts, sir? I'm very unhappy with you. (laughs) (laughs) No, actually, podcasts are those that you listen to. Uh, (laughs) By the way, the podcast is available 20 hours every Monday and Friday, uh, Spotify. And please do subscribe, hit the bell and share. So why were they frustrating the the, the thing, the the SEC board? Hmm. Why wasn't there? Why won't? Why? Because you know the other problem that I see is that the president appoints the uh, appoints the ACC board and also appoints management, the director general, and everyone. That's crazy. Yeah, because you might, as uh, uh, Doctor Kaba and Musa when you have said, you might appoint a user friendly. Uh, I'm using their words. Yeah, you might appoint a user friendly. Uh, I was actually going management. to bring. I was actually going to bring that up. Yeah, user friendly management. Management. Uh, the, the, the other problem I see that bringing up is, mm-hmm. I saw this in a company recently where mm-hmm. the owner of the company appoints a CEO, but then also goes ahead to appoint the lower positions. Mm-hmm. And what that did was, when those people in the lower positions, mm-hmm. lower management, mid mid manage, management level, mm-hmm. uh, go to the CEO. To want to um, go to the CEO to want to maybe do something, mm-hmm. suggesting something, mm-hmm. the CEO refuses. They will go straight to the owner. They will skip the CEO. Mm-hmm. The reason why is because they were appointed by the exactly. owner, so they have a direct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because also for the SEC director general to start threatening a board member, now you should Yeah. 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 No, that's true. That's and true. also these guys who are in the SEC board, especially Musa Mwenyi, who we've heard from, he's mentioned to say. Why these people are more interested in fighting past corruption than the one that's happening now? Mm. It's crazy. So that doesn't make sense. Why should you be paying only attention to the rear view, <laughs> rear view mirror, <laughs> yeah, and leaving the thing that is in front of you? Yeah, yeah. Also, let's not forget the ACC themselves. They say they're investigating some sitting government officials. Yeah, yeah. And of course, they confirmed that they are investigating Solicitor General for mm. almost a year now, mm. and he's still there. <laughs> 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 yeah, so when people come and say, oh, so this fight against corruption, why is it that uh, the other people are making them resign and some people who are from this region, you're mm. not making them resign? <laughs> I mean, uh, that, yeah, that is yeah. an argument that someone can bring <laughs> it up. It reminds me of uh, Mr. Danny Pule's mm-hmm. statement. Have you noticed the people that are now found there? <laughs> All of them are ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very tribal thing to say. Yeah, yeah, we don't, su- we don't support that. Of yeah. Course, yeah, yeah. But whenever this thing rears its ugly head, we need to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. sometimes these conversations are very uncomfortable. Yeah, and, we have to have also, uncomfortable conversations. When the president says, uh, "Just ask them properly," they will tell you to say they took something that doesn't that don't does not belong to them. So just tell them, and then they will tell you, "No, Papa, I'll come and see you later." Why is he suggesting that we can sort this out like that? No, to be to be fair, mm. that's not exactly what he said. He said, mm. uh, ask them, my son, mm-hmm. did you take something that's not yours? Mm-hmm. There is a probability. He said, most likely, mm-hmm. they, will, they will say, ah, these people are after me. I have to go. I'm in a hurry. What he's trying to say is they will change the topic. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, also, they were also I, I strongly suspect mm. that what he was implying is, Let's catch these guys. Let's work with you to catch them by talking to them nicely, saying, my son, tell me, I'll help you. So, Do you understand? No, but what kind of help? Yeah, that's the thing. There's no help they can offer. No, okay. Yeah, yeah so I think it's like a trick. Them. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, speak- but you see, mm. <laughs> to me, Hakainde Ichidema's energy has changed. Hakainde Ichidema's stance has changed. Mm. This is not the way that you used to talk about corruption. No, it definitely isn't, but heavy is the head that wears the crown. Uh, but also, these are just words. Yeah. Yes. We are the, seeing the something else. The president's words do carry weight. No, but we are seeing something else. If the president says this, and then he goes to ACC and does, does the right thing, yeah. then we might believe. Yeah. Because he's the president. <laughs> he's the one who's uh, supposed to crack There's the a part way. of me that's beginning to think you don't like him. <laughs> don't like who HH? Mm, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I voted for HH in case I should say. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, so, you did? Yeah, but. Uh, oh, I, mean, I didn't know you voted. I voted for HH. Aren't you Stuart? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I voted for HH actually. Um, I thought he was, and I'm going to say this because I voted for him. Mm. I thought he was uh, the change that we needed. Mm. But no, it's like we just switched from one group, uh, know, from one group to another group. Yeah, he 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 had a very nice slogan: "HH Hope and Help." <laughs> He's on the, the way. Hope and Help. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Speaking of past corruption, the Drug Enforcement Commission has fa- has formally seized a property containing two double-story flats located in Ibex Hill area, uh, belonging to former First Lady Esther Lungo. Of course, this is not news. And uh, take a look at the DEC spokesperson giving us further details. You may wish to note that the subject seizure is pursuant to Section 71, Subsection 1, of the Forfeiture of Proceeds of Crime Act number 19 of 2010 of the laws of the Republic of Zambia. The DEC is working round the clock to ensure that investigations into this matter are judiciously and professionally carried out so that uh, justice is not miscarried. Yeah, so her properties have been seized. I don't know whether to say unfortunately, I don't know, but oh, these guys are in the news all the time. And we remember her saying, we have not stolen anything. We are innocent, but God is watching. <laughs> That's why you be late. That's why you be late. <laughs> oh, I always like her pictures. She's got classic pictures. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I may not say much. <laughs> <laughs> and fuel prices have gone up again. Mm, uh, so we not. saw that last month's uh, petrol prices were at 31 58 and this month, at thirty three forty seven, uh, diesel was at twenty nine thirty four, and this month is at thirty. Kerosene, which no one uses, <laughs> has gone up by quacha, and Jet A one has gone up by quacha as well. Uh, not exact figures, but you guys can see the figures there. Oh. Yeah. So fuel. Ooh, everyone mm. is used now. To. The fuel prices. No, I pass this here in a bad <laughs> Ah, no, they are not that bad. I think we'll start complaining if they ever get to 50 kwacha. <laughs> it's unfortunate that we're saying this. Eh? I know, that's quite bad. Fuel, yeah, many years ago, 17 kwacha. It was 17 kwacha when the PF regime mm. left. Uh, th- these are people that were grossly stealing. <laughs> yeah, but the UPD will give you an excuse to say they were masking this because we were owing OMCs and all those things. Mm, okay. Which could be true, actually. <laughs> Ah, we should have I seen mean, some change by now. No, I mean, th- yeah, you are right. But I mean, the 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 sense in the fact that they were masking this by us having subsidies that was sort of artificial. Yeah, it was a time bomb. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, 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 that's true. Anyway, we 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 know that uh, a deep hole was dug during the previous regime, uh, to the extent that the president, the former president, had said it's okay to steal. But just don't steal with the pot. <laughs> just don't uh, don't steal the pot also. He said you can get the relish from the pot, but don't but, steal the pot. Exactly. So but he said all manner of things. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then he also did say that he was abusing the powers of the president. It was a joke, but he said it. <laughs> yeah. I don't say much about it. Galungu list in Sandura comes and uh, tells me no trophy. Yeah? Let Ed Galungu speak. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, let him. No, no, that's why we're telling you what he said. He did say he was abusing the powers of the president. He also, did, he may have been joking, but he said it. Yeah, and uh, Zesco um, informs us that we're getting into what is likely to be the worst period of Lord Shedding. Uh, August, September, we know due to the servicing that's going on at Mamba Collieries. Uh, also, we know that the water levels keep reducing and the deficits yeah, are quite so high. What was also mentioned during this briefing is that uh, our water allocation mm. at the Kariba is about to deplete. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So apparently, maybe Mwamene Munomoga still to deplete. Mm, so we're quite. losing 300 megawatts. I was actually at Kafio River, at the Kafio River recently. Oh, the water oh, level. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> uh, you are tempting me to put the video up here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can we'll show guys. Just put a picture when the guy was uh, driving the boat. Is it driving? Uh, you what see that? Do? Yeah, I was. Uh, <laughs> no, Mr. Chofia, you don't drive a boat. Okay, what do you do? You ride a boat. Yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, uh, bad from right. That's correct. Boat without us. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I look handsome? <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, water allocation is. Yeah, mm. our water allocation is about to deplete. Uh, which actually I hate from other sections of society because there we have the Zambezi River Authority, mm. which deals with this. So Timagawan, Zimbabwe and Zambia. Yeah. So they give you a location, you finish it, it's done. Mm. You wait for next year. Yeah. Then there's maintenance that you spoke about at uh, Mamba Collieries. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, what else? Oh, so of course they spoke about importation. We're going to import about 400. Uh, yeah. Megawatts. So anyway, yeah. for the exact figures you do, check out the oh Minister of Energy, actually, the new Minister of Energy. We know Mr. Kapala was transferred to the Ministry of uh, Fisheries. <laughs> it's not even funny, but I'm just remembering <laughs> the things that you said. Yeah, while he was fishing, the minister <laughs> gave us a speech. <laughs> while the available power generation is only 1,040 megawatts. This gives a power deficit of 1,360 megawatts. Therefore, to address this deficit, Zesco Limited, together with other traders, are currently importing a total of 410 megawatts of power from the region, leaving a net deficit of 950 megawatts. The deficit has thus resulted in continued power rationing throughout the country. I like the terms that they use, power rationing, uh, load management. Uh, oh, he also talked about generation of uh, generation of one fort. Yeah, anyway, my numbers are at least every go straight forward. Oh, yeah. Now they are telling us the actual figures. Mm. The one fort was what? The? The 1,000 fort. <laughs> 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 I'm just being what, funny. Yeah, what is that? See, but anyway, the deficit, they came down to 950. Yeah, I'm sure you guys did hear the figures. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm yeah. sure you guys heard the figures on the laggy footage of Prime TV for some reason. <laughs> Since you mentioned that, <laughs> let me also mention that uh, we sympathize with uh, Diamond TV and Diamond Media. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, they lost their page on Facebook. It's been down. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. yeah. yeah we, that's a painful experience. I've, yeah. I've had a couple of friends that have lost their pages before. I can see how much anguish they go through. Our condolences. Yeah. To yeah Diamond TV, we love you. Prime yeah. TV, we love you as well. We love your laggy footage. <laughs> <laughs> um, we did talk about this a couple of shows ago. Only 18.6% of the working population in Zambia pays tax. But we're getting further revelations that only 0.1% of taxpayers are actually covering 80% uh, of the total revenue. Can you imagine that? That's crazy. Very That's crazy. really crazy. Really crazy to hear that. As a tax guy, I am hoping that ZRA can implement better methods of um, sensitizing people on tax as well as collecting revenue. That way we reduce the tax burden on the few people paying. By the way, sensitization on tax issues is very important because people don't want to pay taxes because they don't understand why they're paying taxes. They also don't understand how much taxes they have to pay. There's a lot of information that people just generally don't have. I do also understand the challenges that come with sensitizing people on complex issues like this. So uh, all the best. Is it also possible that we have a big problem at ZRA? Because there are some mm. people who are registered companies, mm. big companies, but they don't pay the tax that they're supposed to pay because mm. they bribed someone at ZRA. I don't think that's, that may be the case now. Because no, but there's a lot of those cases. Yeah? Yes. Um, there is ZDRA, but you call me a man, Virana, Bama track and everything. Mm, mm. Yeah. There, there are such cases, except I would say this would be with maybe individual officers within the, the authority, which is a very common thing all over the country. Yeah. That they are in, sorry, I must say it in cells. There are elements within these. Uh, authorities that that are uh, rogue, as Mr. Muimbu said. Mm. Um, except the leadership or the head of ZRA, I think is quite strict. The environment there is it's not easy. Uh, but no, if they are quite strict, why is they, why are these things happening? <sighs> yeah, that, because I don't think those... that this this is a big. This is uh, mm. I don't think the biggest problem here is the taxpayer. 
mm. or the peep, the peeps, the person the people who are supposed to pay taxes. Mm. I think the biggest problem is the authority. Okay, so my what I've identified as the biggest problem mm-hmm. generally is um it's very because, because e- this it's is very shocking. this is 0.1. Yes. Okay, so I, I can I can I can tell you why it's difficult to collect tax because Zambian tax and tax generally is largely voluntary. You declare how much you've made. Mm-hmm. So ZRA is not in your bank accounts, mm-hmm. at least not yet. Because there are some countries where the revenue authorities are in the bank accounts. They're tracking, ah, last week 6,000 came in. Now, when you're doing a taxpayer update, for example, you're mm-hmm. updating your details, they ask you for your bank details. Mm-hmm. I am assuming soon mm-hmm. we'll have a situation where ZRA is able to track how much is getting into your account. Why are we waiting for that? It's actually not a very nice thing. Okay, because you see, the other thing is that I, we saw in the FIC report how money is being laundered. Yeah. How are people sending millions of money show when uh, we don't have them paying taxes anyway. So I'll a tell you, I'll tell you think of abroad. think of the implication of yes, that is that shouldn't be the case, especially mm-hmm. that we have a limit on how much money can go out. Mm-hmm. But think of the fact that right now, people who are even doing genuine business, mm-hmm. once they be are seen to make a certain level of money are under investigation, which generally does make the business environment a little bit hard. Yeah. Um, now add your bank accounts being monitored by the government. That becomes a very hostile environment for business. So while it may be a good idea for the government to have their eye on every quarter, it is also somehow hostile for the business environment. Yeah, anyway, uh, we should bring back the Wednesday show so that you guys educate us about this. <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? <the> <laughs> Wednesday show will be coming back soon. <laughs> yeah, we'll have Wednesday show very soon. Yeah, so uh, Commander Two's properties, uh, Mr. Francis Mchemwa's properties were seized. Some of his properties, we can see a lodge in this picture uh, that was seized, which led to diarrhea, apparently, and <laughs> rash. <laughs> no, apparently, the water oh, yeah. is what he reacted to. <laughs> Not the full feature. Well, oh, it could be both. Common of Chofia to come in to spoil. <laughs> Spoil my facts with the truth. <laughs> yeah, so apparently the water in the prison is not sitting well in his stomach. It has caused some diarrhea, some BP. I know this skin as well. Diarrhea, BP, and rash. Yeah, but BP now, uh, maybe you're right about the forfeiture. You see? Yeah. You see, you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> anyway, uh, lest we have been told that we are lying, they should hear from commander. Himself. Oh, hear from the horse's mouth himself. What's the problem? Hi. Is it true that you to the water? Is it true that you to the water? Yes, I just took. I did. You developed some rash? Yeah, I've got some kind of rash and I'm not feeling so well. I've got diarrhea. So I'm also, I'm also fine. Then I've got high BP. Okay. BP is high. Okay, okay. That's good. That's good. Did you guys see how he suddenly turned once his health was mentioned? It's like he, he was ignoring the reporter all the way. And she said, oh, water. Is it true you've reacted to the water? You know, yeah, 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 yeah. I have BP. I have BP. My BP is high. Hey, my BP is high. <laughs> yeah, uh, on a sad note, we uh, heard of the loss of one of our gospel uh, musicians, artists in Zambia, Matthew Ngosa, this past week mm. quite unfortunate it's quite sad because uh, his brother bj ngosa recently lost his wife and child i believe yeah. and yeah, last born child yeah so in a road accident in a road accident yeah. and, and he, mm. sorry he, bj ngosa is the one who went to, to pick up the family from the scene are you serious yeah he picked his dead. Uh, Are dead you serious? Child. Yeah, Ish, that's painful. And uh, yeah, I oh, heard him. He was the one who explaining. Yeah, he picked his dead child, and then his wife was stuck in the vehicle, and then trying to remove him, the good Samaritan said, "Sir, take your child to the hospital. Let's focus on. Uh, we'll focus on removing your your, mm. your wife." So the wife survived. She didn't die on the scene. Mm. At the scene, she stayed actually for almost two weeks in in the hospital. Yeah. 
and uh, to me i just put one and one together yeah <laughs> ah, said, amazing minds mind. mm. yeah uh he so apparently that face they so she had a lot of bad injuries i wish i could mention them but just mm. for uh, privacy purposes i won't mention but to him himself mm. himself bijan goes i mentioned mm. so these injuries she was uh, in hospital and then she was not told that her child has died so uh. the man waited for a few days and then when he opened up and told her uh, he actually mentions to say that was the worst day of my life imagine this is a person who starts from picking his family from the accident scene mm. and he says the time that he was telling his wife to say your child is dead that was the worst day of his life yeah so of course that's very painful i mean picking your family from the accident scene now imagine how painful it was to tell the wife and he says that was worse than even picking yeah, the, yeah. the the family yeah yeah uh so to me i just put one and two together and i'm thinking maybe the depression kicked in as well it 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 yeah. could be just it's a very few likely. days after she was told that a child is dead she also passed she also passed away yeah. yeah so our thoughts and prayers our condolences are with the ngosa family on the loss of uh matthew ngosa yeah matthew ngosa is uh, one of those uh, like early contemporary gospel musicians yeah uh, the kind of gospel that we used to uh, listen and dance to yeah mm. Yeah. I remember Kulolela, Wamalolela, <laughs> Iwe. Those, well, those songs raised us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, to end the show, we are going to leave you with uh, a video just to remember the Ngosa brothers. Uh, we're going to leave you with a video of them singing. I believe this was in the United States. This was a good show. And we are going to see you on the next one. <laughs> Kamilumbanye <speaking> in <Spanish>